sector. So that's, that's a great point. Okay, and we have a question from Lori Edmo at the Showband News at Fort Hall. Uh, for Superintendent Jolly, when will you make a decision on the Yellowstone 150th event on whether it will happen? So first of all, uh, thanks for that, that question and, and, and for all the great work we've been doing with tribes uh, in, the, in this 150th anniversary year. I, I don't know. I, um, I want, there's so much, I think we've, we're up to 16 tribes participating in um, the Yellowstone Revealed um, initiative at the Arch uh, the week of August 22nd. Uh, for those of you that don't know, that's going to be um, a, a huge uh, tribal landscape or tribal encampment, um, an incredible week with uh, an ability for visitors to interact directly with tribes. Uh, we're going to need to kind of see what the condition of of, of Gardner is. Um, you know, I would like, I really want to see that event proceed. Uh, and I think that if you look at what we're just talking about, about coming to Gardner, even if people can't necessarily come all the way into the park. I think that's another great example of an event that we'd like to continue to plan for and have people attend for a variety of different reasons. Most importantly, the tribes back on the Yellowstone landscape, but secondly, there would be a, a correlating uh, economic benefit to, to Gardner uh, if we do that. So I don't, I don't have a definitive answer, but my mindset is now that we need to really continue to, to plan for that event and uh, absent something more catastrophic happening as long as the uh, road is open to Livingston and that kind of thing. Um, I think we should continue to plan for it. Okay, thank you. And